Here is a simplified video about top-down for directional movement using animated sprite 2D in Godot. All the assets used are linked in the description below. Let's go! First, let's edit the input map. Click Project, Project Settings, Input Map. Here we add the keyboard input for our movements. Here's the basic setup. First, we add the node 2D named World and add Camera 2D. Take note that the Camera 2D has a zoom value of 4. For our player, we have a basic setup that includes a Character Body 2D, an Animated Sprite 2D, and a Collision Shape 2D. In the Character Body, we change the Motion Mode from Grounded to Floating. This Motion Mode is ideal when making top-down games. In the Animated Sprite, Create a list of animation based on idle and move with its direction. In the idle down, select the sprite sheet that you like. Set up the grid based on its frames. Click this. And the sprite was blurred. Here's a simple fix. First, go to Project, Project Settings, and find the render. Under Render, click the texture and change the default texture filter into nearest. Here's an example on animating movement. Just like before, Just add these frames, and now it's moving. I challenge you to add the remaining animations. And here are the results. Don't forget to add the collision shape to your character. Now that you're done, let's add a script. Remove these lines of codes. And make sure that these lines of codes will only remain. First, change this constant variable into export variable. Add an export variable called acceleration. This allows us to edit values from our editor. In the physics process, let's add a variable called direction that gets the positive and negative vector axis based on the input map. To make it move, called velocity.x, add move toward that has a value from itself, to direction multiplied by speed, and acceleration. Same goes to the y axis. Lastly, since the motion mode of the character body was floating, it is recommended to use move and collide instead of move and slide to prevent any sticking accidents. We will call move and collide with velocity multiplied by delta on its parameters. Let's run the game. Now our player can move. Let's animate it. Add an already variable for our animated sprite add a function that updates animation based on vector to parameters, add a function that updates the animation state, add a string variable called animation direction, and a variable called animation state. Now create a match state based on vector 2. Assign values on animations. Now, in our update sprite function, we will check if our velocity.length is greater than 0. If it is, we will change our animation state into move, else into idle. Call this function with direction as its parameters, add this function, and here's the magic. We will concatenate the strings to apply our animation. And now, our player animates when it moves. For the next video, we will animate it using animation player. I hope you like it, please leave a like and subscribe.